Ciao everybody! So today I really wanted to talk to you guys about learning language abroad and what it takes. So again, a disclaimer, I by no means am a master of Italian. I'm in 102, I'm still struggling, but that definitely means that I can relate to you guys because you probably don't know the language where you're going either. So we're in this together. So number one, if you haven't decided on your study abroad yet, um, if you're not comfortable going somewhere and not knowing what people are saying, not comfortable with foreign language, pick somewhere that speaks English, like England, or stay in the States. Because you know what? It's hard. It's difficult, and sometimes you feel like an idiot, but I think that's part of the process. So. Now, are you, if you are okay with um, kind of looking like an idiot sometimes because you don't know what people are saying or you don't know how to respond, um, then have some fun and pick somewhere like Italy where you went without really knowing anything. Second is, is that if you have a prereq for your study abroad program, like I had to take 101 for Italian, um, pay attention and take it seriously because people like myself who didn't, and then you go to the other country taking 102 and you're super behind and you have to kind of catch up on that whole 101, it's not fun and it takes up a lot of time that you could be spent doing other things. So make sure that you're actually paying attention in that prereq. And if it's not a prerequisite to take a 101 course, I would say it's probably a good idea to take the 101 course because you really, while people do, like here in Rome, people do speak English, there are some people that either will pretend they don't or they'll definitely think less of you for not really even trying to speak Italian. So, and it, it also feels good to kind of practice your Italian when you go to the grocery store or you go to eat some food and you can actually talk to the people. All right, next is don't be afraid to, like I said before, kind of look like a fool and to really like go for it. Be able to say something wrong and someone correct you. If you go to the grocery store and you ask for a bag because you don't get bags free here and you forget the word for bag, don't be afraid to make sure that you're asking for that and making sure that they tell you what it is because you're going to want to know it next time. And my final kind of like tip, tidbit thing that I'm doing here is don't get discouraged. Don't feel like because you've been here for a little bit and you don't know the entire language that you're the only one because I promise you you're not. Like I've been in Italy for over three months and I don't know Italian by any means. But I do know enough to kind of get by, to go to the grocery store, to ask questions, to go out to eat, um, and still feel like I'm not being disrespectful by only speaking in English, by saying enough in Italian. So like definitely don't feel like you're the only one who's in this boat, because everyone else is, and if they're saying they're not, it's because they're lying. <laughs> so just keep on keeping on, and you'll do great. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Um, I had a great time making these videos in this video, um, so make sure you have a great day, and ciao!